if you're wondering how you can actually overcome your challenges in life, uh, tap in and you're going to break down some of my pointers that can actually help you overcome the difficult challenges and obstacles that you experience in your life. Ownership and Greatness. Welcome back to the Ownership and Greatness show. I'm your host, Joe Chege, and today we are going to be talking about how to overcome challenges in life. And I know this is a topic uh, as a creative and as an entrepreneur, I'm always faced with, and I thought it was necessary for me to break down some of the pointers and some of the things that I normally do to enable me overcome the challenges that I experience in life. Because as you all know, challenges and obstacles are an intricate part of what makes us who we are. So we should always embrace the challenges and learn from them, like I always say, and most definitely at the end of it all, you're always going to emerge victorious. So uh, join me as I break down some of my pointers, tips uh, that I use, and uh, hopefully you might be able to learn something from it. All right, let's dive in. So my first point is don't depend on other people to fix your problem. You have to search the problem from within. It has to start with you. So if I want to be able to overcome a challenge, if I want to be able to become the best version of myself and be able to step into the next level, first of all, I have to start from within and ask myself, where did I go wrong? Because when you're doing something, you always have a plan. So you'll be like, okay, this was my goal. I was supposed to accomplish one, two, three, four, five. I was going to do this and, and this was supposed to be the outcome. So you have to search from within and figure out, okay, where did I go wrong and how can I be able to fix it? So it has to start with you. Stop putting uh, blame on other people. Stop expecting other people to help you out of your mess when you haven't searched from within. Because I feel like sometimes we are scared of owning up to our own mistake. Like we have, we'd rather blame other people and not blame ourselves. So for you to be able to, to, to break out of that cycle and overcome challenges, you have to search from within. And then once you find out where the problem is, sometimes it might be you, sometimes it might be the system that you're using. So search within. And then once you find out what, what, what went wrong, and then from there, you can figure out how can you make it better? How can you tweak the concept or tweak your plan so that you can be able to move on to the next step? All right. My second point on how you can actually overcome your life challenges. This is something that I'm actually practicing, uh, which is all about mindfulness. When, uh, whenever you feel like you're at the corner, whenever you feel like you have all these obstacles, like you're facing challenges from right, right, left and center. The second thing I want you to do, and this is something that works for me, is you have to unplug. You have to step out of the noise. You have to take time away from all the chaos and listen. Like you have to be silent for a moment and think because thinking is critical for you to be able to make the rightful decision and to make the the, the rightful adjustments that are going to enable you to step into the next level. You have to think, you have to set aside, uh, you have to set aside some time to break down uh, your, your thoughts and figure out how you're going to be able to, to step into the next level. And it's actually in relation to the first point that I said. So I feel like sometimes when when stuff happens or when we're faced with challenges, we tend to be scared of listening to our thoughts or even thinking, sitting just down for, for an, or a day or setting aside some hours to break down uh, what actually is happening in your life. And this is necessary because it helps you block all the noise from, from outside and calms you down because for you to be able to think clearly for you to be able to plan accordingly to make the next move you have to to be calm you have to be stress-free you have to be less stressful and that way you'll be able to plan accordingly and strategize on the next plan that's going to enable you to overcome the challenge that you have so it's always good Whenever you feel like you have so much going on, like the skills around you, like these these challenges and obstacles, like every turn that you make, you have to unplug. It is necessary, especially in these times that we're living right now. 
we have so much noise from uh, surrounding us we have social media we have people telling us that we're not gonna uh, amount to anything like we have all these things going around us so the most important thing that i would do as an individual is you have to step out of the noise uh, find some some solitude a place where you can actually spend some time with yourself and analyze and 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 create a game plan on how you're gonna take the next step and how you're gonna be able to initiate it and solve the issues that you have ahead of you all right my third point in relations to how to overcome life challenges is practicing gratitude. I always talk about practicing gratitude. And the reason why I say this because this is something that actually is going to enable you to work on your emotions and, 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 and your surrounding depending on the circumstance that you have. Practicing gratitude actually helps you count your blessings and gives you a better perspective of your problems and challenges because sometimes when you're overwhelmed with all the obstacles when you're overwhelmed with all these problems and issues happening in your life we tend to look at only the negative things that are coming out of the situation you're in but when you practice gratitude the most important thing is you're gonna take the negative and the positive and ask yourself what lessons have i learned from this experience and most of the times, whenever we are caught up in, in, in a difficulty or challenge, it is meant to help us grow. It is meant to for us to analyze it and figure out what's the best way that can enable us to work out this situation. So challenges are there to help us grow and figure out solutions or other ways of, 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 of making things work. So when you practice gratitude, it helps you clearly see your journey from the beginning where you've been before and where you are right now and where you're headed and majority of the time you realize that the things that you're overthinking the things that you're blowing out of proportion are actually a blessing because at least you're able to be in this position so that you're not going to be able to repeat the same circumstance or you're not going to be able to repeat the same problem tomorrow so whenever you practice gratitude it centers you and helps you be grateful for what you have it helps you be grateful for the moments and, 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 and the things that you've accomplished before. And it actually helps you realize that this shall pass. Like whatever you're facing right now is not permanent. Because in life you, you, you're always faced with challenges. But the reality of the matter is as time goes by, sometimes we overcome those problems. We find solution and actually forget about the things that were bothering us before. So when you practice gratitude, it helps you do like an account. It helps you do like an inventory of, okay, what have I been able to accomplish so far? What milestones have I been able to tackle? in relation to my goals and it will actually give you a clear picture of where you are uh, in your life and what needs to change or what needs to be done so that you can get to the next level so when you practice gratitude it it, it grounds you and help you count your blessing and appreciate where you are in your life instead of looking at all the negative things instead of looking on, at on looking at what's what all the bad things that can happen like it helps you see things in a positive way so for me i'm always being grateful i do it i do this on a day-to-day -day basis when i wake up i'm grateful for the gift of life i'm grateful for the opportunity to go out there and make things work. i'm grateful for the opportunity to make things better than they were yesterday and then in the evening evening i do a fact check and, and i'm like okay I, I i plan to go out there and do one two three four five i wasn't able to do everything but at least i was able to tackle three things so how am i gonna be able to what's my next step for tomorrow then when tomorrow comes i'm able to start from where i left yesterday and then continue on my journey of life so whenever you're faced with life challenges always pause and uh, think about the great things that you've been able to accomplish, count your, your milestone, like big and small, and then it's it's going to give you a clear picture of where you've been and where you're headed. So gratitude is essential for you to overcome life challenges. All right. My next point is never stop trying. And I'm going to use a quote that Kiada uh, taught me when she said, it's all gas, no brakes. So when you're moving forward uh, towards your goals and aspirations, you should have this thought at the back of your mind always. No matter what obstacles you're faced with, no matter what challenges you're faced with in life, never stop trying. Because if you look at the greats, 
The one thing that makes them uh, great or make them stand out is because they were all faced with the same challenges we are facing in life. But the, the thing that makes them stand out is they always came back and tried again. They came back and, and thought of another way of doing or solving the problem. They did not give up when they were almost at the peak of their career. So your goal is to ask yourself, okay, this did not work out. What's the next alternative or what other way or what other solution can I come up with to solve this problem? You should always have that in your, at the back of your mind that I will not give up. I will not stop trying. I'll try and figure out a problem because like I always say, the alphabet has 24 letters. So if A and B doesn't work, you still have Y, X and Z. Like you still have all these options that you can use to tackle your problem. So when you reach that point, but like fall back to your to your to 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 your to your support system. Ask your friends, ask your mentors, study, do your research, look at the people who've been in the same predicament and figure out how they were able to overcome it. So my goal is to to challenge you to stop giving up on yourself. Stop, don't never stop trying. Just keep on moving, just keep on working on yourself, and you will definitely overcome your challenges and tribulation. All right. And my last uh, point for today in regards to how to overcome the challenges in life is study your predecessors, study your mentors, study the people who've made it through, study the people who are able to overcome the challenge and are actually successful in that. Study the study the people who came before you. It might be your mentors. It might be the people in the same field uh, you're in, in your business, in your career, in your life. Study the people who came before you and analyze and figure out how were they able to break the mold? How are they able to overcome the challenges that they had in their life? I'm saying this to say, uh, like they always say, there's nothing new under the sun. Like any problem that you're facing right now, someone faced the same problem before you. So you have to go out there and, and figure out how were they able to overcome and what actually made it possible for them. And once you figure that out, it actually gives you hope because when you do your research, you realize you're not the only one who's been in this position. You're not the only one who's ever faced this situation in life, who's ever been in a tight spot and faced challenges in life. So it actually gives you hope. That's one thing. And it will actually give you a better perspective and most definitely give you ideas and ways on how you can be able to tackle your challenges in life. So I just want to encourage you and tell you that life is a blessing and we are all here to learn and we're all here to enjoy it. So no matter what you face in life, no matter what you're feeling today, no matter what obstacle is ahead of you, you are an overcomer. So once you, you, you're able to tap into like your mentors and people who came before you and who are able to solve this problem and learn from them, I definitely believe you're going to be able to break this mold and overcome your challenges and obstacles in life. All right. So today I thought it was necessary for me to share with you uh, some of the pointers that I use, some of the tips that I definitely use in my life to be able to overcome challenges. And I believe in life, nothing is permanent. So whatever you're going through in life, whatever challenges and obstacles you're experiencing li right now, it shall pass. Like you are going to be able to overcome all that once you focus on your on your issues and don't blow them out of proportion and, uh, and, and, and you're able to uh, pinpoint where you went wrong and, and and get the right information and spend time analyzing and thinking and, and finding how you can be able to turn around your situation and become successful and, and, and be able to forge forward towards accomplishing your goals and, and living your life to the fullest. So as usual, I'm your host, Joe Chege. It's been a blessing tapping in with you. And most definitely, feel free, feel free uh, to subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you haven't had the chance and if this is your first time joining us, welcome to the Ownership and Greatness family. Most definitely, uh, leave us a, a like, leave us a review on all the podcast platform for those who are listening uh, through the podcast. And hopefully, we're going to link up on Friday for Motivation Friday. Peace and love. Love you all. Ownership and greatness.